Hey monster dudes, monster girls, humans, um, back again with another drama. So, I wanted to cover this topic for like a weeks, but I never had a chance to because I've been so busy with work and all that stuff and also been tired, but anyway, let's slow down into the, this topic today because this is very important because this actually does involve with me as a person, I want to bring this upon. So, if you guys didn't know, I'm actually Lion American. I have nothing against any manga or anything or anime that actually shows any resemblance to, you know, dark-skinned people. Because I actually, in reality, I actually am dark-skinned. But that's beside the point. The point I want to make is that this stupid thing should never been a thing. It really should never been a thing at all. Because there's not going to be a lot of things I want to cover here because this is getting so ridiculous because of these stupid freaking, um white savior mentality assholes who act like oh my god this is offensive and you find out that they're not mexican they're not they're not any ethnicity they're just a bunch of white people freaking annoying white people and i want to show it right here because i am getting so fed up with this crap it is it, it's ridiculous it's ridiculous as hell so let's go right here so this manga right here this rom-com right here is is getting is getting one right here, so I'm gonna show you right here. So, new Latina rom com, dark brown, brown Latina girl is aiming for for my body. LN by K Kakira Kashima and Ori or you. Youth rom com comes from an ordinary high school. Um, wait, blah, blah, blah. youth rom com is about an ordinary high school boy. Well, maybe with a higher sex drive than usual. Ooh, is helping out a foreign Latina girl in trouble. Grateful for this super cheerful girl suddenly wants to marry him and have his children. Aw, uh, isn't that kind of sweet? I got nothing wrong with that. But apparently people wanted to take this a step forward to call it the manga artist. By the way, he was actually supposed to be from South America. If you guys hadn't guessed, this is the guy right here. That actually is. I'm the author of the heroine indigenous Amazonian woman whose second language is Portuguese. For Latina, um, for Latina, we ask we ask the AI. That is a typical. Um, what are some typical South American female names? And those were the ones that list suggestions. I never thought it would be the word to describe Latin women in general. Which I ain't got nothing against it. Who cares? I, I really don't care. But people are trying to be so offended because there are so many disgusting people. Let me see. I could find it right here. Let's view the quote retweets. There was actually one guy, it's like, it right here. Remember this insane interview with a veteran ordering FMA and an author, New Era, cannot ever bother to research of names? Disgraceful. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Nobody cares. Yeah, because they're trying to, because, because apparently he used AI and they're trying to shit him for that, which is ridiculous. And everyone's getting tired of this right here. Let me see. The man just wants to make a cute rom -com manga. No one needs to be an asshole about it. Let the man work. Exactly. Just let him work. Why am I not surprised? Japan uh, has the record of failing to portray Latin American culture and media, I, and I'm used to it. But how low effort of research done this feel of actually offensive? It, wait. But the low efforts of the research done for this feels actually offensive. No, it doesn't. Shut up. This, this guy's a fucking idiot. Solran, shut the fuck up. Like, really, sh what is your problem? With the low rubber, like, yeah, these, these people are so stupid. This will come to a point I will talk about right here, but it's ridiculous. So, yeah, and people are actually, like, people are actually want to support this, which is great. I mean, there are a lot of people supporting this, which I'm pretty happy about. But let's face it. They really don't care about us. They don't really care about Latin Americans. Because the next part I will show is very important. It's very very important because this goes back to a lot of things i said because they don't really care about this they care about the skin tone and because whenever like they want to put any representation in there it's whenever they feel offended but let's get to the next part why i really feel this way because this is so stupid oh before i before i finish off on this let me show you this right here and there are goobers who will say that Japanese media is better, but when you look at it into it, 90% of fetish slop 
every month there's a new A girl who is, insert fetish, wants to have sex with her boring protagonist, show. Yeah, which is ironic. By the way, this guy right here, Duke D. Vinny, has the ugliest art I've ever seen in my entire life. This guy, it's just, this, you know what really is disgusting? This guy has 8K likes. 8K likes on this stupid tweet. And it is so, it's so disgusting. Yeah, even look at this guy. Even call him out. And there's goobers who will say that Greek culture is better. But when you look at the 9%, it is fetish slop. Actually, to be honest, um, Greek is pretty fetishy type back in those era. Every month, there's a new A guy who is in Sir Fish, wants to have sex with for a boring protagonist show. Yeah, which is really ironic because look at this guy right here. Look what he says. Sex. It's ridiculous. This guy is a Taurus. Oh, yeah, by the way, even the guy even stated that he doesn't even care. And I'll show you right here. Watch whatever you want. Turn your brain off. I don't care. I don't like anime in general. So, this guy doesn't like anime. He just wants to, like, freaking make everything about himself. So, just let that sink in, people. Just let that sink in. This is why I can't stand people like this. I can't stand artists. And, yeah, by the way, let's look, look at his art. His art is so ugly. It, he, it makes me sick. Look at this garbage. Just look at this garbage right here. Absolute trash. <laughs> God. Just absolute garbage right here. It's just disgusting to look at. And people, and he wants to act like he's a high, mar high, high regarded. But anyway. Yeah, of course, you gotta make the Black Samurai right here. Oh yeah, yeah, Black Samurai right here. But yeah, he wants to complain about all this other dumb shit and tries to act like he knows any better. Okay, the next part I want to talk about right here, and before I end this video, this is something I wanted to talk about for a while. So, so this goes back to the Hoyoverse thing, because like I said, they don't care. These people really don't care about Latin American cultures. They don't care about representation. And you know how I know this is that whenever like Hoyoverse have like white characters, but they're actually part of like some subcult of some like, of culture or anything they get mad about the characters being whitewashed just let that sink in right here whenever they they see like a white character that's supposed to be representing for like the other cultures like hawaii or whatever like god knows whatever these people always like like saying oh they're whitewashing the character i, I like i said they don't care it's this fake higher morality they have that they think that they're any better and they try to act like they give a shit about us Latin Americans. They don't. They just want to be offended whenever they feel like it's need. It's necessary. And I'm getting so tired. As a Latin American. Having these people speak for us. When it's not their judgment to do that. It's not their, their position. It's disgusting. It's so annoying i can't stand these people i can't stand leftism this is why i always should talk about leftism and people think oh no because you're a republican no they've been doing this for decades annoying shit like this about like oh well we 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 need to be pc and we can't offend anyone this is why i really cannot stand about these subhuman trash and of course it's one of those stupid like free palestine people that won't enlist for palestine because let's face it they're all cowards they're all losers it's whenever it's the, the perfect time to act like they care about anybody. They don't care. Just like they don't care about Palestine. They don't care about anything. They only care about whenever it's so necessary to them to feel offended. It's disgusting. This is why I don't like slackivist. But there, there is this one guy that really captured everything I said right here. And I want everyone to, everyone to sit back and relax while I read this. Because it, it's very important. Because... This goes exactly what I said. Since the boycott for Geshen Hoyverse has died down, my thoughts on the brown Latino living in a Latino country, spoiler alert, I hate the attention-seeking movement. Just wanted to express myself. I know no one cares to read. Uh, all right, so right here, I'm going to read everything right here because this is exactly how I feel. I'm annoyed, frustrated, as a livid from the U.S. from Geshen Hoiver's VA, CC, and normal pl players for doing a boycott. But that was anything but. Many didn't even stop, pay stop playing the game from going to FP2, but won't help because most of the FT2 begins with. The VA should also stop voice acting for the game. Content creators stop putting the contents for the game. What is funny, the U.S. is nowhere nothing being earned for Hoiver's games. So, 
Why would they care? Most of the so-called movementers are just using it for clout, to gain brownie points, for being a good person. And some CCs and Instagrams even use TikTok trends to showcase there is no inclusivity in terms of the main menalim skin on the Geshin. And that is itself is disgusting. I Am I just a trend now? As a brown-skinned Latino who actually lives in a, a Latin country? Thank you. No, like, actually, thank you. Like, this is how I feel. Like, I just feel like we're just used as a trend. And by the way, this isn't the first time this has ever happened before. Because if you, like, seriously. I find it hilarious how these people say one thing they're against against the fake boycott, but not to speak for everyone. They're, they're, the, they're once saying this, that this individual whom they're trying to fight for, but there are many are brown and black and Latino people who do not care about the menelin and representation in a Chinese game. We are not looking to see ourselves in games. How about how about the United States portray their minorities first? Not many were there in their movements in Latin Americans and African. Majority didn't care, didn't even know about it. We were just happy to explore new regions and new continents in Geshen. So do not silence us because we do not feel of being used as a failed attempt and just and just want us to have fun with the game, fun times in the video game. Thank you. And this goes back to another thing. This is not the first time. If you guys remember back in 2017, when these same people, these same individuals got offended with the Super Mario Odyssey. If any guys remember Super Mario Odyssey, this goes back to that whole situation where they pretend to care about like Mario wearing sombrero, even though the fact he's Italian. And if you guys even know anything about Italian culture, um, not Italian culture, if you guys know anything about Italian, the language, it's very similar to Spanish. But these people did not care. They only care about like trying to feel like a good person using us as a, as a freaking trend to feel offended when they don't care about Mexicans. They don't care about nobody. And I said this before and I'll say it again. These people do not care. They only care about using minorities as a trend. And I hope someday these people get called out because again, it's annoying. It's frustrating. This is why I don't like about leftism. I hate activism. I hate all these sorts of people. I don't care who you are. But if you're part of this leftist group, you people suck. You guys suck. We hate you. We don't want you speaking for any of us. And I'm I'm surprised you guys haven't called me out like, Oh, you're a brown skin person voicing in a white lamia? Oh yeah, that's whitewashing. I dare you say that to me. I dare you all to say that to me so I can just mock all of you. Because you people suck. Seriously, like, there's a reason I didn't make my character brown skin because I don't care. I just want to have fun with what I do. And that's exactly how this guy feels. He doesn't care. He just loves to have fun. But anyway, that's all I wanted to share about the manga situation because I know I know it kind of I streamed to another decision, but the point is, this is just a this is a this is just a message to all these slackivists. Leave us alone. Stop using us as a tool. That's all I have to say. Please leave us alone and stop using us just because you want to feel like you're some good person. You're not a good people. You're never going to be good people. We all know you did some screwed up shit in the past. Things you will never going to forget. And no matter how far you try to act like a good person, that stuff you did in the past is never going to go away. We know what you did. And a lot of us are never going to... You, your, your thing about being like such a good person isn't never going to... It's never going to fade away. You're all bad people. That's all I have to say. Um, like and subscribe to my channel. Um... That's all I wanted to share. Um, I just think this whole situation was pretty bad to the to the mangaka. The guy did not deserve any of this. That's all I wanted to say. I might buy the manga because for the reasons I really want to show my support to this guy. Um, he didn't deserve this. But until then, I'm Vipress. I'm out. Like and subscribe. You guys are awesome. Peace.